Kandinsky, The Sound of Color. Can you see color when you hear certain sounds? Only a small percentage of people in the world experience this sensation. It is a neurological phenomenon called synesthesia that occurs when the activation of one sensory pathway leads to an involuntary experience in another. It is a rare but real condition in which one sense, such as hearing, simultaneously triggers another sense, such as sight. Some people with synesthesia may experience different odors when they touch things, while others may taste different flavors when they hear sounds. There are many forms of synesthesia, but one of the most common forms is chromesthesia, the ability to see color as sound and sound as color. A person with chromesthesia often perceives the sound he or she hears as bursts of particular colors that change in hue, shape, and direction. Conversely, these particular colors are almost always associated with the same sounds. The perception of the color does not detract from how the person hears sound, and in most cases, it enhances the overall experience of it. Some people with chromesthesia take advantage of their condition by using sounds, such as playing a piece of music, as a way to help them to create art. Wasley Kandinsky was an artist who saw colors when he heard music, and heard music when he painted. For Kandinsky, color and music were completely tied to one another. So clear was this relationship that Kandinsky associated each note with an exact hue. To Kandinsky, warm red was the sound of trumpets, strong, harsh, and ringing, while orange was the sound of an old violin, and yellow was the brightness of brass instruments. Green was the most restful color and sounded like the middle notes of a violin. Blue was his favorite. Light blue was the heavenly color he associated with a flute and bright blue sounded like an organ. But the darkest blue was like a sad cello. Violet, on the other hand, sounded like the deep notes of wood instruments. White was like a pause in music or the break in a melody. And black, black was the profound silence when the music ended. Music played an important role in the development of Kandinsky's abstract paintings, as his favorite musical compositions influenced his own artwork. Over time, his artwork evolved into non-objective compositions that depicted the rhythmic movements of colors, lines, shapes, and textures, creating an emotional response, much like the music Kandinsky listened to. Not surprisingly, he gave many of his paintings musical titles, such as composition, or improvisation. Like most artists, Kandinsky created studies to explore color, to see how one color interacts with another. Kandinsky's small composition, Squares with Concentric Rings, is a study of the interaction of different colors. Ironically, this study is his most famous painting. Imagine the symphony Kandinsky heard within his own mind as he explored the impact of different colors painted in simple circles. Mm -hmm.